morning guys happy Friday um, as I've mentioned in other videos I'm trying to keep my Fridays uh, nice and lean uh, all I'm really doing today is I'm uh, going to get a check and do a layout of a project that I'll be doing in a couple weeks it's a it's another first uh, gas furnace uh, and heat pump job yeah, it's gonna be a Bosch uh, Coleman just like my brother's system got my George Costanza cup here I got Kramer behind me. I love I love Seinfeld. It's a great show. Hope you do too. If if you don't like it, there's something wrong with you. So, kind of chilling out here on this Friday morning, relaxing. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be about 80, 85 degrees, bright and sunny. Other than the uh, the smoke from the uh, controlled birds they're doing around here, you know they. I understand why they do it, but. It could be nice and nice and blue sky otherwise. Right now it's just kind of a hazy sky, which I don't like. But this isn't a weather channel or a forest fire channel. But if you live here on the west in the west, you understand uh, the troubles we have with that. So um ah, the coffee's good. No, I didn't spike it. I have to do some driving today. And I have a uh, I have a one drop policy. I have one drop of alcohol. I do not drive unless it's an emergency. And that that rarely comes up, but uh, I was kind of kind of uh, playing around today with uh, you know this 454 stuff. I know everybody's you know there's a billion videos on it. I'm sure I'm going to give you guys my take here. But uh, what a joke, huh? What a complete you know. I, I always tell things like it is, and I do not sugarcoat anything. It's a complete fucking mess, is what it is. It's a complete effing mess. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys here. So I, I was I was perusing around the internet today. I went on uh, I went on Johnstone.com, JohnstoneSupply.com, Jensco uh, Customer, which is the contractor's uh, site for Jensco. Uh, I went on Supply House and I did some Google searches, just kind of comparing how easy it is. Sorry, I'm I'm waiting on a package, so I'm kind of glancing over there. But uh, you know. Uh, Kind of looking at the availability of 454B as opposed to 410A and even R22, uh, the availability of the equipment versus the availability of the refrigerant. And uh, man, it's a complete joke. It is a really a complete joke. Um, and you're going to see it here in a second. But uh, man, uh, oh, hold on a second. I think my package is here. I'll be right back. All right, guys, and sorry that was actually that was actually some uh, adapters for uh, 454 because I know eventually I'm going to have to switch over, uh, but uh, some some adapters and then uh, what else did they bring? Oh, just a bunch of fuses so from so from SupplyHouse.com. Got their hat right here, Trade Master. But uh, the disparity in this stuff is ridiculous, and they want us to switch over everybody to switch over to 454. And, and go completely away from 410A, and I'm not ready to uh, until I'm on my last, uh, la like I said, my last piece of equipment in 410A. I am going to install it, uh, hell, or, hell or high water. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little out of breath. Sorry, guys. I did my morning workout. I've been getting up early and uh, trying to do about a half an hour of uh, curls for the girls, uh, trying to keep myself strong because it's going to be a so what happens in the summertime, man, is, you know, I get, I get a little fat and happy in the, in the winter, meaning overweight. And, uh, I know I'm going to be sweating out a lot of calories, sweating out, uh, a lot of weight this summer. So I try to get myself, uh, stronger here in, uh, March, April, May, so I can withstand, uh, what's going to happen to me in June, July, August, September, sometimes October. So I, I, uh. I recommend that you do the same thing as you get older because it gets a lot a lot harder uh, and you younger guys you still should be doing that too you know I I put I, I'm I'm guilty of putting on like 15 to 20 pounds every uh, fall and winter because uh, you know good food not going out as much not exercising as much and uh, uh, it's a it's a recurring cycle almost every year which I shouldn't do but I do do it but uh, you know, abstaining, abstaining from the alcoholic beverages has helped too, or not fully abstaining, but maybe having one or two instead of five or six or seven, uh, makes a huge difference. And I'm a lot more lucid and I'm a lot more, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? A lot more uh, coherent when I'm uh, speaking with customers and uh, speaking with you guys, I think. I think I'm coherent. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I won't bore you more with, uh, anymore with this uh, long dialogue here. I just want to show you guys uh, uh, the state of affairs here with this new 454B stuff here in the uh, Pacific Northwest. Uh, I'm always transparent about, uh, about my stuff here, uh, what's going on in the industry here in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, kind of give you guys an idea of how things are over here on the uh, left coast. So uh, enjoy the video. All right, guys, let's go around the horn here. So uh, first we're going to start here on uh, the old Johnstone website. So, you know, I don't know what happened with this change, but I think they're all... Uh, now, now, keep in mind, I do not uh, install 454B stuff yet. I can still get 410A equipment. It, it takes a little bit of doing. I might have to go on the internet um, and purchase stuff. But uh, until I absolutely have to install 454B or uh, R32 equipment, I am going to uh, I am going to uh, install R410A stuff uh, indefinitely until I cannot get one uh, piece of equipment again. So let's go around the horn here. Johnstone Supply. Here's your R454B refrigerant, 20 pound cylinder. I guess somewhere they, they decided they weren't going to give us 30 uh, pounds or 25 pound cylinders anymore. So we get 20 pounds uh, at a higher cost and they think they're doing us a favor. So here at Johnstone, we got uh, R454B 20 pound cylinder at 625. And there are some available, actually. So let's scroll down here. Here's my local branches here in the Pacific Northwest, uh, Oregon and Washington. And it looks like they're all sitting. Uh, they got 31 canisters in the capital of Oregon, Salem, Oregon. So uh, if I wanted to uh, get one. Now, granted, things are kind of weird right now. I might put an order in and they'll say, oh, no, it's not available. It's just, it's just populating on the site. Uh, you can see it right there. But, uh, uh, you know, it's the good old boys might get them before me. And uh, they'll lie to my face and tell me that's not what's happening, but I believe that's what's happening. So that's Johnstone on the 454. Let's check out, uh, let's check out R32 and see what the availability on that is for a 20-pound cylinder. So that's 318 bucks. so that's about half price, a little, little more than half price of what the uh, 454 is. And it looks like in... Uh, if you look up here, Bothell, Washington, which is uh, my old stomping grounds when I was younger. I lived up there for a time. They have 40 canisters. Looks like they can ship them in uh, within one to two days to any of our local uh, branches here in the Pacific Northwest. So, um, And just for shits and grins, let's check out 410A here at Johnstone. <clears throat> Okay, so this is what's ridiculous is that, the, you know, they're phasing out all the 410A equipment, but man, 410A has never been more affordable and more uh, uh, available. Look how many they have, guys. Look at this. Here at my local branch, 57 canisters uh, go on down the line to all my local uh, Pacific Northwest branches. 57, 73, 88, 52, 53, 65, 55, Tiger, 919 canisters of 410A ready to go. Uh, Tuckwilla, that's Washington, 50. Vancouver, Washington, 22. Yakima, 52. Portland Distribution Center has 4,401 canisters of 410A, and they want to phase out this equipment. Complete ridiculousness. I mean, complete ridiculousness. So there's Johnstone. Let's move on to, uh, we'll do the same rundown uh, with Jensco. All right, so this pulls up all the, uh, like the run through side discharge stuff that they're, they're touting at the moment. So let's go to uh, our 410A uh, side discharge run through 15 sear 3 ton unit here on the left. And they have, they have quite a few of them. Now, granted, they're almost $3,000, but, uh, you know, 5, 10, 12, 14. It looks like they got about 20 of those left. So that's not too bad. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I want to pay uh, pay f the same amount that I pay for my uh, Bosch 410 units for just r this run true 15 sear unit, but it is what it is. So 454 units, let's check on it. So it's actually cheaper. 
So they're giving us the, the 454 equipment cheaper than my 410. Uh, they want to push to sell this stuff, even though I can't get refrigerant for it, barely. So let's check. Oh, look at that. They got tons of them. I mean, they're, and they're continually, continually, if I can say that word, coming into Tacoma 5. They got 39 of them in stock. Looks like I got a total of about 50 or 60 of those, and I'm sure that that number's growing daily. Uh, here's an old 410, uh, 4 ton. I'm sure those are available because 4 tons aren't as common. Let's go, let's run down further here. Uh, 15 sear, 2.5 ton. All out completely of the, of this one here. Uh, 454B, 5 ton. I'm sure they got plenty. They got 31 of them in stock. 2 ton, 454B, 35 of them in stock. Let's go to the double fan units here. <laughs> Uh, 410 unit, 5 ton. They got one left in Everett, Washington. And 21 of the 4 tons, 454B. So I won't bore you much more with this. Here's another 410 unit. They got plenty of those, but those are weird sizes. It's a 3.5 ton. Oops, didn't mean to click on that. So, but uh, yeah, it's a weird size, so they're going to have more of them. And then here's their, here's their, they call them dead on arrival or whatever because they're not making them anymore. They got four of those left. These are the 410 units. Four of those left. Here's the 454B. Of course, they got numerous of them. Um, so, anyway, let's move on to uh, let's move on to the internet here. Okay, guys. Uh, you know, Supply House is more of a parts uh, type. Uh, you know, consumables type site. So. Uh, but you can get 454B like gauges and, and A2L compliant, uh, you know, vacuum pumps and recovery machines and stuff and all the fittings and stuff that you need for 454B. But, uh, no, they do have equipment. That's like a, I think that's an ox box there, uh, on back order, <laughs> uh, three and a half ton looks like. But uh, you do a search for 454B refrigerant on Supply House and it doesn't even populate because I, I guess they, they probably can't even sell you refrigerant. Even though they can sell you units that have refrigerant in them. That makes a lot of sense, huh? So uh, let's, go to, let's go to like a Google search here. So I did a Google search on 454B refrigerant and we have... One guy's trying to get 20 pound canister for $3,500. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Here's another one for $1,695. Uh, that's equipment. Uh, this guy wants to sell a 10 pound uh, for $495. But uh, yeah, it's a racket, it's a racket. And then you can go over here, look. Well, this guy's five pounds of R22. Let's, so let's, let's do the same thing with 410A refrigerant for sale. Let's see what happens. go yeah look easily 269 290 i mean that's you that's normal internet prices 349 237 it's everywhere and uh, they want to sell this uh, 454b equipment what a joke what a joke huh all right guys so as you can see uh <laughs> that's complete nonsense huh really really complete nonsense you know, uh, how much 410A uh, refrigerant that's out there? Just tons and tons and tons. A bottomless pit of 410A refrigerant and uh, a lack of availability of 410A um, equipment. This phase out is uh, complete nonsense. It's a big cash grab. Somebody's getting real deep pockets out of this and they're, they're trying to take it from uh, us, us uh, you know, middle class, uh, us, a small guy, us, the little guy like me, the, the, the regular consumer, if I can spit out what I was trying to get out there. Uh, rich get richer, the poor get poorer. And, you know, that's kind of uh, that's kind of how things are going, man. Um, I'm doing fine personally. Now, I'm okay. But I know, I, I see the angle that's happening here and what's going to happen to some guys. They're going to get pushed out because they can't adapt. I'm good at adapting, so I'll be okay. But, nope. I'm uh, I'm gonna get myself a 454 uh, Ghostbusters uh, poster and put the put the hash mark over it. Not doing it till I absolutely have to. I'll say that till I'm blue in the face. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, insight into what's going on over here on the uh, in the Pacific Northwest in my region. And uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'll be. I actually have a uh, a leak check on a mini split job tomorrow. Uh, time and material, and I'll take you along with me. So a uh, uh, bonus Saturday video uh, out in the field. I look forward to it.